In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a PowerPoint slide with an animated looping video in the background. In front, we will create boxes like that. Let's not waste any time and start creating. We will actually start by gathering the resources. We need the video and a couple of icons. For the video, I just went into Google and typed in looping video background free. One of the first websites that came in the search was Pixabay. This is a perfect website for getting some free videos. I found this one, I think it's really cool. When you download it, you can select even the quality. You can choose a lower resolution because this is only a background. I chose Full HD, but you can just as well go for this 720p. For the icons, it's a no-brainer, let's use flat icon. I went into icons and I've made sure that I will be grouped by pack. This will make sure that I will have consistent icons and I just type in technology. Okay, technology and one of the first icon sets was this one and I didn't go further because this looks so amazing. I just went for three of those icons. I just went into a couple of icons, downloaded the PNG files and we will attribute these icons. On my desktop, I have the video itself and three icons. Let's go into a new slide and let's work on the video first. For the video, I can simply drag and drop it into PowerPoint. I made sure that I have a blank canvas by selecting a layout blank. Okay, dropping in the video, by default, if you go to animations, open the animation pane, by default, PowerPoint makes videos that when you click on them, they start playing, and when you click again, they stop playing. This is animation number one, and animation number two, the stopping animation, is a trigger. I actually want to get rid of the trigger animation, and display animation, I want to start with previous. The zero informs me that the video will start automatically. As I play the slide, the video plays instantly. It's a little quick moving, but that's okay. Click on the video, and the second adjustment you need to make is going to playback, and just making sure that it will loop until stopped. Now for the icons. At first, I wanted to create the boxes. I will select insert, shapes, and I will insert a rounded rectangle. You can also go for a rectangle. I wanted to make them approximately of this size. I want to reduce the corner a little bit. And how do I make sure to place them properly? At first, I'm looking at the color of the video in the background. The video is black and white, so I'll go for a gray color. Let's not overcomplicate things, and I'll select the second gray color I have, or the first one. Let's create it with the second one. Shape outline, no outline, so we have no outline, and we've basically created the majority of the design for this slide. I will do Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it exactly in the middle of the slide. You can see those red lines. And when I press Ctrl D again, PowerPoint will automatically place it on the right side. If it didn't place on the right side, you can always select all three of them, press Ctrl G, so they are one consistent group, and just go to Align, Align Center. This will make sure that all three of them are centered. Ctrl Shift G to ungroup, and I have three separate boxes. Now for the icons. There's nothing simpler than just drag and dropping them into PowerPoint. As you can see, they are a little big, but I love that they are circular and are of same sizes. So I'll just, with my shift click, select all three of them and show you a good trick. On the picture format, on the right side, you can reduce the size of the icons. You can, for example, try with two, still a little big, maybe 1.8. I think this would be completely fine. Let's place them in the boxes. Boom, boom, boom. PowerPoint helps me with the alignment and there is nothing more to it than adding text boxes and filling them out. I will press Alt 2. You can also go to insert text box. I'm inserting a text box. First text. I can, of course, change the font. I've selected Montserrat Extra Bold for this one. For the text color, I didn't think about it at all. I just went into text color eyedropper and I've selected one of the colors. The blue seems like the most influential color here, so I'll take the blue. And before we animate, I want to make things simple on myself, so I'll just select everything, Ctrl G, again select everything, Ctrl G, again select everything, click, drag, Ctrl G. Now I have three boxes I can separately animate. 
I will press on the first one, shift on the second one, shift on the second one. I'm holding down my shift key, okay? Going to animations, and I really love the fly in animation. There's really nothing better than the fly animation. It was too quick. So on the animations, let's take a look on the right side. If you have the animation pane opened, on PowerPoint for Mac, you need to like adjust the timing and duration here separately, but that's not a big issue. I'll increase the timing to 125. I'll double click on the animation itself. Some options appear. I go to effects and I increase the smooth end. This will make the animation to go into the screen a little slower. Beautiful. What do you want to change? Probably you want to have those on click, this on click, this on click, but the first animation, the first object should be with previous. Why is that? Because when I start explaining my slide, I want the first item to already appear because I want to talk about this slide right away. When I am done talking about the first item, I just press my mouse again or my keyboard, press again, and we are flowing next items into the slide very, very nicely. I do really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button. Really, it helps with the YouTube algorithm because YouTube doesn't love videos who aren't overly liked. It would mean a lot. If you want to learn PowerPoint with me, you know that you have links to my online courses down below. I strongly recommend that you at least check the courses out. Maybe you save them for the future. It might be very useful. Thank you once again and see you in the next tutorial.